I am not even going to lie to you guys today. If we actually do this mission, this will be one of the greatest abandoned theme parks of our entire lives on this channel and even the world. Dogs. I want to try to go inside, but I'm worried there might be someone in there. Oh my god. I'm recording on my phone. Moped, just got seen. There's one of the guards. Cops right there. I think we're going to jail, guys. Explorers, right now we are here in Wuhu, China. Now mind you, China is a very hard place to explore abandoned places. And without the friends that I'm with here today, this would not be possible. China's Fana Wild theme park opened in 2007 for trial operations. In 2016, the tourism board held a press conference and gave the park a 5A rating, which is the highest rating for tourist attractions in China. It was the only park in Wuhu, China to receive that rating. Fanta Wild also opened 10 more theme sections to the park, making it 1.25 square kilometers large and became a theme park rooted in Chinese culture. Because of these additions to Fanta Wild, it was no longer just a big amusement park, but a whole resort like Disney. In 2020, Fanta Wild announced it would be closing for renovations and upgrades upon high demand by the public. It was a large investment to make these changes, leading to the park's demise. Because of the focused budget set by investors for the renovations and not much for the marketing, the place ran out of money to maintain itself. Fanta Wild went from a popular tourist destination to now a massive ghost town. It's an absolutely insane, but it's very true. And this is the main gate of it. We are in the city, and this is directly in the city. It is massive. This place has water parks, international uh, cinemas, a freaking Disney castle. Everything is here. It is mind-blowing. This is the main gate of it, which you're allowed to still walk. The city didn't even know what to do with it, so they're like, hey, let's just kind of make this place still active, convert it, run businesses in some of them as much as we can, and let's just make this something that we can all still use today. So this reminds me of like a little mini Disneyland. I think everyone is inspired by Disney, all of Asia, so they create different things. This is like almost Main Street walking through Disney at one point, which you're allowed to still kind of visibly walk through now. They create some of the coolest random buildings and architecture. They're really good at creating like this fantasy world where China doesn't even feel like China anymore. I mean, look at this phone booth from the UK. I mean, and look at the signs above it. You can tell it's been sitting here and not maintained. Fanta Wild right there and this is the resort part so you can see how much they invested they had old gyms here all gyms that were here now their equipment's just stranded this place was so big and so popular and right in the middle of woohoo that they had to keep some of it open for people just to walk through because that's how crazy it is and they didn't expect this to go abandoned i mean look at the sign this is a ghost town in itself it's unbelievable you got these big structures that are just sitting there if you can look way down there, you, see, you can see dinosaurs fighting on top of a building. You can see an abandoned pirate ship right there. Castles over here. One thing that sucks is like there's a lot of haze and fog around here, which I find it's always like that here, um, but it is what it is. Um, again, this is all man-made, including this lake here. This lake is just made for this. I'll show you guys what it looks like over here before we even find a way in, because remember, there is security everywhere. So a lot of this is gonna be stealth missions and getting through, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna be managing. Think about this, if you've ever been to Disney World or uh, Universal Studios, you go through like the city walk. This is like almost like their city walk we just went through. That's our friends that we're with, that's Robin. Um, but over here, this is then when you finally get through the city walk of Universal Studios, you then get your ticket. Yeah, so we just went through this super cool way to get in. We're traveling now inside the woods in the bamboo. Now we gotta be stealth and quiet. We don't know where guards are, but they're just anywhere. So we just keep pushing. Slow and steady. This mission of exploring is all about um, patience. As you can see in the distance, you can just see through the glistering sun and the trees, a huge roller coaster.
Dog. Oh, f***ing hell. Dog's coming right over here. Dogs. Nice. They're leaving. Really quick, Explorers, I want to give a big thank you for BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service, and it's 100% online. That means no matter where you are in this world, you can talk to your own licensed professional, like in the comfort of your own home, or even out exploring an abandoned theme park like today. Now, while it is fun to explore abandoned, dark, or haunted places, we don't want our mind to go and stay in those dark places. I've been saying for years that our motto as Explorers is rise above, but that starts with the mind. Life is tough sometimes, and sometimes we don't want to rise above, or sometimes we just don't know how to rise above. And that's when it's important to reach out to a professional. While I love to explore cool, dark, and haunted places, counseling helps ensure that my mental health stays out of those dark places, and I'm pretty sure it can do the same for you guys. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 25,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help you with a wide range of issues. To get started, you just need to answer a few questions about your needs and preferences in therapy. That way, BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist from their network. Then you can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable, whether it's via chat, text, phone, or video call. And what's really cool is that you can message your therapist at any time when it's convenient for you and you can schedule live sessions. And if for some reason your therapist is not the right fit for you, you can always change to another one for no cost. With BetterHelp, you can get the same professionalism and quality you expect from an in-office therapy, but with a therapist who is a custom picked for you, more scheduling flexibility, and at a more affordable price. Get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash exploring. I linked everything in the description down below. The dogs are still barking. They do patrol here, so they might actually come over here. We'll just go this way. Wow, already this is insane. Dude, this is so crazy. This is so crazy. Right here, this was the line to wait to ride one of the rides. Look at that. Look how long the lines would have been. You would have been waiting. Like, I don't know if that, yeah, that's to get onto this roller coaster right there. Look at that camera. I don't think it works though. Yeah, it's not plugged in. All right, so we're gonna jump through here and then take the woods to the other side. I guess no cameras. No cameras. I don't think they got the money for cameras here. <laughs> I think we're good. Wow, so this was called the Flare Meteor, that ride. Look at that. Oh my God. This was like a stand for drinks or food before I guess you would wait inside this massive line. Wow, sun faded this all out. Yummy food though. Oh, that's the dog we heard? That's the dog we see. Oh my God. We were freaked out over that dog? Oh my God. Looks like there would be like a huge show here at one time. A uh, very beautiful area. It's definitely like a, obviously like a sea, almost like the little mermaid kind of feeling I'm getting here, I think. But let's go check this out. Wow, this is the big turtle shell in the middle. Conch Bay Outlet. That's like a chair you can sit in. This is sick. I wasn't kidding. This is uh, very much Nara Dreamland vibes for sure. Uh, it's keeping up with it because there is a castle. I want to try my best to get to. This looks like, I forgot what animal this would have been, but there's something big in there at one time, but it's still super sick to look at. I mean, obviously this definitely was a shell, but all the doors are locked. I don't even want to lift that up to see what was inside. It's going to make a loud noise. So it's hard to say. It's like a huge, whatever the sea, sea animal is, right above us going in. And there's a front entrance. Oh, Matt. 
too loud. Oh well, we'll go that way. All right, approaching the direction that leads us to one of the cooler areas I wanted to see, but I don't know what to expect. We wandered around stealthily through the roads to get to all the grand builds and rides of the amusement park. On our way there, we stumbled upon a kid's section with smaller rides. the shadows. Check this shit out. Haven't seen anything like this since Nora Dreamland. Look at this ride. I think it went up and did twirls like this all the way around. <laughs> you gotta have fun when you're out here, man. This is fun, but you don't get to do this often. That's a big apple. That's what that is. It's a huge green see-through apple. Another little roller coaster right there. Once we see the castle, we'll probably be able to get through all these little, whatever the hell this is. Here it is. The first time since Nara Dreamland, I've seen abandoned castle. This is why we come to China. You know, when you see Nara Dreamland being my favorite place, being the first time I've ever, I made my like merch off Nara Dreamland. So to see another castle like this is absolutely incredible. Check out my new clothes in the link in description down below. I want to try to go inside, but I'm worried there might be someone in there. I mean, I don't even know what that is. And you got the double decker merry-go-round right there. And right here you can see like the trees full of snow. The details on that guy who's like falling from the snow. Let's go see what it looks like in there. Oh, I can't see, but only you guys can. Hopefully there's nothing crazy in there. So far, like I said, I'm with a good team. Uh, we're doing perfectly fine. Everyone's following the rules. Everything's good. We've been, you know, doing Google Maps and getting lucky as well. So I'm very happy with the outcome so far. Uh, obviously I want everything, I wanna see it all. So we're gonna keep going. Not gonna go to the Apple ride though, I think it's cool. Yeah, I don't wanna risk being seen. All it is is a ride that goes like down and then comes back up like this. So on the side of the castle, we're waiting for Robin, he's meeting up with us now, so we're hiding out. But on the side of the castle, you got this cool little ride that just goes like this. <laughs> Dude, that fits a lot of people. Yes, at Fanta Wild, this was called the UFO. <laughs> Charles found a sword. Yeah, really cool. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, this is sick. Pull it out. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of sharp for a Chinese like thing or anything in a theme park. Actually, no, that's not sharp. It looks it's sharp. A one. Yeah, we got to keep it, protect each other. I'm gonna check this building out. Authorized personnel only. It's like working desks. The magic behind, behind the scenes though, as we are moving past this section, we're gonna keep on moving. Again, there is still so much to see. This is really a big abandoned Disney World, bigger than our Dreamland, so there's a lot to go check out and a lot to see. So weird to see how it's all empty. It's like a cake layer of spoons on it. My favorite abandoned places to explore are theme parks, and the reason why is that they really take you out of reality. Unlike going into hospitals, schools, or mansions, this is something that was full of life. Thousands and thousands of people would come here. They would spend time with their families, share memories that will never be forgotten. Then all of a sudden, the place is gone. You come here and it looks like the apocalypse just hit, but yet it's so peaceful and relaxed. Even though it's closed down, you still feel like you're still in this dreamland. Suspended from reality, a place that's now frozen in time, and now you feel like you're not even on Earth anymore, but in a video game, able to explore the remains of a once booming place. Approaching behind this stage right now. It's only 1 p.m., so sun's still good. Uh, 
I, can, I can think we could actually get done this whole park before dark. You can see right here, this was a massive show that involved monkeys, bears, and, well, I guess some humans. But they love sweets. I don't know what these people are. This is definitely from a show. I feel bad because I don't know. Comment down below if you know this show. Let me know. Hey, actually, so we're stuck. I thought this road would bring us to the next place, but it stops. Uh, we might better get through and go around. If not, we're going to have to go through the woods. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay, so we found a way inside the castle. So I guess that's good because we have to see it anyway. All right. Wow. The inside's not as cool as the outside, huh? Oh, so it's all storage now. It's all just boxes. There's an upstairs too. I wonder what would be up there. Usually by myself because I get scared of getting caught, but we're doing well. But if I do a lot of places, I'm with friends. Damn, you smell that? It's uh, either ammonia or like mold that likes chemical smell. What a weird castle on the inside. Like it's so cheaply done. Like, <laughs> the, the, the outside is so perfect for the castle and the inside is like cheaply done. Like, that's like that made in China joke. Oh man. So Robin's still coming. Robin was trying hard to get in, he got in. Robin's where we were at the seashell, but he's moving towards us, coming to meet us here. So, I mean, we're doing well. Everyone's team working it up. We'll be back to four people. And just again, we gotta be short, because Robin said there are guards in here too. He even seen some, so gotta be careful, but we're, gonna, we're in a great spot to hide and wait for everyone to meet back up. What happened over there, man? Looked like you went through war. Did you get hit with the dogs? Oh, shit. <laughs> because I, <didn't, coughs> I ate a lot of this stuff. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, guys, we're approaching a huge building. Some sort of guard uh, place was there, so we didn't want to chance it. But so far, I mean, like I said, things are going pretty good. And there was a big building here. We didn't know what it was, but we were trying to figure this out. What the hell is this? Okay, well we ended up somewhere, I just don't know what. I don't know who these guys are, but it's surrounded by water. I'll hit it from the back first. inside looks like. All right, approaching in the back. I'm gonna need a light in here. My light's not even bright enough. We're entering some sort of adventure wild park, as you can tell through the other side. This is cool. See, in China, they do a lot of dances and shows. They're really good at performing, like amazing, actually. So the, the outside is called Ghost Romance. So it's, it's definitely, a, yeah, like a, a, a live performance must have been with like ghosts vibes and ghost love and drama hero together cry said this is this is great they just pulled me in and said i have to come check this out so it opened up to another room see i never seen the outside but now that we know it's called ghost romance oh another a bigger stage You're way bigger stage bro so it's about ghost love and drama and heroes a drama performance Going through bamboo is actually harder than it looks. But look down here. Some western style. Like a guard there. Western statue. Oh, look at these. It was full of water with just elephants. That's cool. Special effects studio. That's cool. That's what... Dude, this, I'm telling you, this is like a universal. Their own, their own little universal. It's actually kind of weak. I'd walk the center. I would literally just walk the center. Special effects studio. I wonder if we can get inside this one. A little worried though. 
maybe I don't want to go in it. <laughs> kind of nervous. Looks too perfect, like a trap. Urban Explorer trap. I'm recording on my phone. Moped, just got seen. We were doing so well. So good and we got caught at the last minute. Again, we did super good. We've seen a lot. We've seen half the theme park. There was still a whole nother half. I'll try to show you it as we get out at the same time through my phone. There's one of the guards. He's pissed too, by the way. He's super pissed. Hopefully everything is better. So they're talking about us right now inside there. Robin's in there right now. I can't show more, but I'll let you know what happens. We're just kind of standing here. Cops right there. Right now they're calling the cops. They write my name down because I'm a foreigner, but hopefully things go good. I'll update you again. Just waiting for the cops to come right now. Keeping you updated. Here comes the cops, guys. We'll update you in a minute. So right now they want to find out what hole we went into and I think things will be okay. So we're showing them the hole we went to so they can seal it up. Um, things are looking pretty good. This has been a crazy time in China. Welcome to China, guys. All right, here we go. We didn't miss much. The, the side we did had more of the Disney theme. Everything was decorated, everything was nice. While the other side just had big rides. And yeah, some stuff was really cool. It wasn't like we missed anything. The only thing I'm, d I'm sad that I missed and I wanted to do the entire time was the freaking dinosaur and the upside down house. The inside of the dinosaur house actually has nothing in it, but it's to visibly see the outside and get a shot. Now, I can't win them all. Like 11, 12 years doing this, what do you expect? This is the side we did. This is the north side of it. Um, and we did this. Yeah, completely overgrown right there. This is the side we just started. We did this side we banged out. But again, these drone shots and everything I'm showing you right now and what you're seeing is showing you all the spots we miss. Like you can see in this building here, you can see the face of the this like Mayan yellow building. It does look cool. I wish we did get inside. It could have been a whole cool thing to see. But we didn't and if you look more to the right, you got this huge Mayan temple with a flume It's a big drop. It would be a huge drop when you get inside You would rise up and you would you would just drop in and splash all the water would go everywhere Could that have been cool on the inside to explore? Probably absolutely insane And again moving on to the front gate as we pass by the front gate right now You're seeing us go through it, which is rising up and then going through where you can see the entire space center that would have been really cool showing the rocket ship. Guys, now you remember we explored that entire half. Here we are exploring the other side. Remember we started and went this way? This is the way to the space center, which I never would have known if it wasn't for the drone shots. All right, we're gonna zoom in right here. We're coming up to it. Starting it off right here in the, I think it's like a futurism side. Like again, all Disney copycat kind of thing. Uh, we're gonna get inside now. I mean, it is still eerie. I, I'm, I love how they let you kind of like even bust in here a little bit. Right behind the dome that looks like Epcot, by the way, another copy, you're gonna see a full-blown rocket ship, which we can't see anymore. Yeah, look at this. The ticket center for this is epic looking. Such a nice DK with that, uh, yeah, it's like a, like a, again, it's like Epcot, seriously. Cool about this place is all the ticket counters you go to still have all the machines right in front of you. Oh, that's J20. What's this? Oh, he said J20. I said, what's that sound? Is that like military work? Yeah, it's just a military. Oh, dang. Damn, look at this, though. I can't even talk because this thing's loud. Look at that. Phantom Wild, the other side. And if you look right up front, this is the police saying, hey, it's like their, their cute way of not trespassing. Yeah, the police notice right there. Damn. Don't trespass. Oh, my God. And right behind there is probably the coolest looking uh, place that we missed. Right there is where there's a pirate ship. I mean, it's not its not like there's anything in it, but it still, it still would have been cool to see. Really cool. This shows you the actual, uh, the whole guide map. Look at that, the whole guide map of this place. Oh, the guide map. Yeah. So you can see how big, see how big that side is? This is everything we did right there. We only missed the dinosaur part. And then the rest is a lot smaller and just bulky. I mean, we did an amazing job. Into the river again over here, you can see there's the pirate ship right there. Obviously, we probably would have got close to it. Maybe we could have walked it. But again, 
even if we would have walked on that and been seen by someone, we would have been kicked out. That's how intense it actually is. We're going to head out of here now. Um, probably go get food and board the train. We did, we did it all. We still did it all. If I didn't do it, my drone did it. That's the best way to think about this. From way over here, you can see the tip of the rocket. Just sad to let this go. Oh my god, no! Well, either way, there's still more to come in China. <sighs> Alright guys, so like, really quick. Um, we just got back to the hotel. It's just me. Um, you know, I will say, in the last... 11 years of exploring abandoned places, China has been the most difficult place to explore abandoned places. There's cameras everywhere, there's guard dogs, there's, you name it, there are here. It doesn't matter where you are, there's a camera. They're always watching you. Now, I will say this though. Uh, in the last 11 years, if I got caught anywhere, I'd be freaked out. But here, I've already now been caught twice, and they let me go every time, which is only twice. But even when the cops came, they were just laughing, and they just let me go. You know, we assume, or I assume, that if I got caught here in China, it's just like jail time. Uh, China's not really like that, to be honest, so I'm very happy about that. China's actually really nice. Um, I'm not going to explain all the politics and things like that about getting around and other things because it can be difficult and it is actually annoying. But at least I will say when doing abandoned places, it's actually a lot easier than you would think. And getting caught is not as bad as what you would think. Like even in the U.S. I get like fines or, you know, something stupid would happen or court. But nah, man, it's really not like that here. I get in more trouble in the U.S. for exploring than even here in China. Like just think about that really quick. Now this theme park was going to be... Uh, you know, I really wanted this to be like the coolest freaking video of my life and it is one of the hardest things, but we did well, we got to see half of it and the drone covered the rest. Um, I, I will say though, like obvious, if I had to go back and pick, I should have actually started on the right side, explored all the big stuff first and then maybe try to squeeze around and get to the other side. But it is what it is. For all I know, the guards were all on the, the, the right side when I went on to the left side because the way the place was, it was like this. It was like a U and it met up. It's like a big circle, actually. So, I mean, it's it was the place of a lifetime, not our dreamland equivalent. And when you chase abandoned places for your entire life and your passion and your job, of course, this is going to bother me. And no matter how much as I was trying to say it wouldn't bother me, it really does bother me. But... It is what it is. Things happen. At that moment, it didn't matter if Robin came at 10 minutes or, or, or later or whatever. That that was an unavoidable situation. I mean, that literally, I walked. We were in this, like, western alleyway. The, the guy pulled up in a moped in seconds. You didn't hear him or nothing. He just already was here. So uh, there was nothing we can do no matter what. That was just a really bad luck situation that can just happen at any point in time. Was It, it was, like, the worst luck. Hiding in the bushes for everything, and then, boom, all of a sudden, I'm caught in the end. But, you know, the drone covered the rest. I didn't get to go inside. It is what it is. I, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I did look at some pictures online to try to see, and I wasn't really missing much. So, But it's just my – it's me. It's my curiosity. It's, it's, it's like putting in the work. I made it that far. I wanted to complete the mission. To me, this was a mission. It wasn't even just an explore. This was serious. Um, I did it, though, and I want to thank you guys. It is what it is. We got it done, though, so I'm okay. I appreciate the love and support, guys. I'm going to end this video here. Um, I won't lie. The next one is absolutely insane like this one. So just stay tuned till next week. No joke. Rise above. Just get out there and explore. Peace and thanks for watching. Jared, hang on, don't talk. Jared.